So, after you watched the short video, what do you think the theme of this unit is about? Is it about cultural values, environment and ecology, or society and social problems? Think for a second and choose the correct answer. Great, you guessed it right. So, the theme of this unit is not about cultural values and not about society and social problems. It is about environment and ecology. Good. Now, after you watch this video, you will be able to do two things. First of all, you will be able to review and acquire vocabulary related to environment through visual clues, which means through pictures, Two, you will be able to use newly learned vocabulary items to speak about environment. So, let's get started with the vocabulary related to environment. Here is a list of pictures. They're all related to environment. First of all, we have land, soil, tree, mountain, forest. Can you repeat? Land, soil, tree, mountain, forest. Good. And then we have water, river, ocean, lake, rain. Repeat after me. Water, river, ocean, lake, rain. Good. Pay attention to the pronunciation of mountain, mountain, soil, soil, ocean, ocean. Good. So, the, do you remember these words? Pause the video and try read the pictures without looking at the words. Good job. So, the first one is land, soil, tree mountain, forest, water, river, ocean, lake, and rain. Good. Now, let's move to the second list of vocabulary items related to environment. We have air, this is air, oxygen, gas, ozone layer, waste, animals, humans, fish, pollution, living organisms. Can you repeat after me? Air, oxygen, gas, ozone layer, waste, animals, humans, fish, pollution, living organism. Good. Now, can you read the pictures without looking at the words? Pause the video and try. Good. The first one is air, then oxygen, gas, ozone layer, waste, animals, humans, fish, pollution, living organism. So, all these words are related to ecology and environment. Now, go to your lessons copybook and you can write these vocabulary items. They are all related to ecology. We have land, soil, tree, mountain, forest, water, river, rain, air, pollution, ocean, humans, fish, living organisms, animals, waste, oxygen, gas, uh, animals, ozone layer, lake. Pause the video and copy this in your lessons copybook and then you can do this exercise. The exercise is very easy. Complete the following exercise with the words from the list below. Uh, you have here land, waste, ozone layer, and oxygen. So read these sentences and choose the correct word to complete each of them. Pause the video and do the exercise and then you can 
play the video. So now I'll give you the key answers of this exercise. The first one is we should preserve trees because they emit the oxygen we breathe. Number two, people ought to throw waste in the trash bins so as to keep their streets clean. Three, air pollution is very dangerous for the ozone layer. Number four, heavy rain caused so much land erosion in remote areas in Morocco. Good. So I hope you copied this in your lessons copybook and you did this exercise. Now let's move on to some practice exercises. Look at this picture. What do you think? Is our earth happy or sad? Of course, from the picture, our planet is not very happy. Why is that? Why is the earth so sad in your opinion? The earth is is so sad or our planet is not very happy because of many problems look it is crying it's crying because of many problems some of these problems are caused by nature itself while others are caused by human beings so the earth is crying because of some problems there are two types of problems some problems are caused by the nature itself and some problems are caused by human beings. Here is a list of problems caused by nature and by human beings. You should classify them in the chart below. In this chart, you have problems caused by human beings. And here you have problems caused by nature. Look at the pictures. Here we have human and here we have earth. Here is the list of problems. We have hunting animals forest burning, global warming, pollution, deforestation, volcanoes, hurricane, animal extinction, floods, and earthquake. So here are some problems that uh, earth suffers from you should classify them in the chart below i'll give you the first example and pause the video and do the rest so for problems caused by human beings we have hunting animals because animals they kill uh, because humans they kill animals so problems caused by human beings is hunting animals Pause the video and do the rest of the exercise. Now, I'll give you the key answers for this exercise. So, problems caused by human beings are hunting animals, forest burning, global warming, pollution, deforestation. For problems caused by nature, they are volcanoes, hurricane, floods, animal extinction, and earthquake. Now, because the earth is very sad, she, uh, it's not very happy, we should do something to make it happy. What does that mean? We should protect our earth. We should protect the earth. The question is, how can we protect the earth? So, to protect the earth uh, and our environment in general, we should and we should not do some things. For example, here is a list of things that we should do and we should not do to protect our environment and to save our planet. We have plant trees, pollute the environment, recycle waste, use renewable energy, throw waste or garbage, smoke in the forest, fight cattle grazing, cut trees, kill animals, clean our streets, destroy our planet, preserve the wildlife. Here are some pictures to help you understand the things that we should do and we should not do. Now, your exercise is to classify these uh, things that we should do and we should not do in the chart below. Here you have we should and here we have we should not. So over here, you write all the things that we should do to protect our planet. And over here, you write all the things that we should not do to protect our planet. I'll give you the first example and you can pause the video and do the rest yourself. So for we should, we have 
we should plant trees so in order to save our planet we should plant trees how about pollute the environment should we pollute the environment or we should not pollute the environment yes we should not pollute the environment so pollute the environment we should write it here we should not pollute the environment so pause the video and do the rest of the exercise after that you can watch the key answers so here we come to the end of this lesson thank you for watching and i wish you the best of luck